Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking in the background, that is my HL Mod Tech robot. It prints in place and it moves in a whole bunch of axes. Friends, today's a special day. I'm going to give you guys a link to the file. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so I'm going to give you this file to play with. You guys can adjust it, put your own words on it, have a ton of fun. I'm, I'm also going to put this version on Thingiverse so that if you just want to download it, you can do it from there as well. Friends, I do want to give you some important skills that I've used throughout this project. The first tip I want to give you, friends, is favorites. I have got a few shapes I have saved, uh, a couple of text, and then the one that I used a lot in this project was the Meta Fillet. Let me show you how I used it. Uh, I'm going to take this piece right here and I'm going to hide the rest of my robot. I use this trick a lot as well. And then if you look at this crazy shape right here, if we do ungroup, you can see that these back pieces are all separate. And let me show you why. If we ungroup one more time, I used this meta fillet to round that bottom edge. And what that did was made it so that when the foot moves, it's able to connect better. Now the second thing I want to show you is this. It sinks in so it's going to connect well, but right now I don't want to group it. So I have just locked this piece. I'm going to view it from the top. I'm going to click on just the rectangle and I'm going to fit view. This gets me a real good angle so I can select all the way back to here. And even though it grabs this rectangle, it won't group it. When I hit group, those are all joined and I've got a solid connection under here, but I've got that part separate. And then this is where I unlocked it and selected those again and grouped them. That is how I built this entire robot. So we've got favorites and we've got locking. Let me show you how to find this sweet meta fillet so you can add it to your system and keep it as well. Instead of basic shapes, we go down to all shapes I'm going to show you this because I find it makes life a lot easier. If you shrink to 80%, you can see the little numbers the entire time. And we just go out to number 12. There is the meta fillet and we add a star or we click the star. If you have any others that you use a ton, make sure you click them as well. One of my favorites is the swept NASA and I also use the bolt hull a lot. But by putting those in my favorites, now they are super simple to get at. And that makes life a lot more fun as you're designing. I'm going to switch my zoom back to 100%. And let me show you around my design. Right here, if we click transparent, you can see that this fits inside here. And then this has that same tongue so that it comes back. And in theory, all of these legs will move. Now it depends on how well your printer prints. Uh, if your printer prints a little wider than it's supposed to, they'll be super snug. Right now I'm having a little problem with the shoulders being snug when I pull them out, but I'm finding after I wiggle a little bit, they are coming out great. I may update this version, I may not. Another cool feature I added, if we go to transparent on the head, you can see there are holes right here. Those are for sticking in filament, so it looks like eyeballs. There's also a piece up here, a cross that comes up. That gives it strength, because for a long time, I had trouble with this snapping off. This hole down here is added as well, because it was sticking too hard to the bed, and it would snap the neck. So by having less attached to the bed, it's been popping off great. Lastly, I added these little cones right here. This just made it so that was less likely to happen and it wasn't that much wasted. I will have a version where they're not there and I'll have a version called supported where they are there. You don't want to turn supports on in your slicer as it'll put supports in a lot of places that end up making it so that it won't move. When you're done, the head, the arms, and the feet should all move so you can stand and pose just like you've seen in the YouTube shorts that I've posted. So my friends, I told you I'm making this public. Let me show you how this works. In any of your designs, if you click this and then choose the gear, make sure you get the name to be what you want it to be. Mine is gonna be HL, I'll do the space, Mod Tech Robot, and then change it to public and I'm gonna let people share. When I hit save designs, it is now public. Now, if you want to know how to find me, you can see I just switched to a different Tinkercad account. And the way to do it is hit the little search, switch to people. And then if you do HL Mod Tech, 
and search, you'll find my profile. And inside my profile, you'll find all my images. These are sorted by likes. So if you want something to show up near the top, you can give it a like. Uh, right now, if you go to latest, that's how you can find the robot. Once again, when you click this, if you think it's cool, don't forget to hit that like button. You can also give other cool comments. Friends, when you get here, you can hit copy and tinker, and then you can just start having a blast disassembling and making the robot look just like you'd want to. Also, friends, don't forget you can hit like, share, and get the whole world to see the cool things we're creating. Friends, if you make a fun modification to the robot, I'd love to see what you create. Remember, you can reach out to me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also track me down on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, don't forget you can also visit HLModTech.com. If you go to the bottom, sometimes you'll see this arrow. If you hide it, there is a messaging tool that you can get to and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I hope you find the favorites and the locking totally useful and have a lot of fun with your Tinkercad projects. Lastly, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.